Hello, I hope everyone is having a great time at Premises Day this year. So this is Ben Ye and I'm an SRE at ByteDance. Today the topic is about troubleshooting compactor backlog with ease and let's get started. First, let me introduce what is the Sonos compactor. The Sonos compactor compacts blocks on the object storage in order to improve the query performance. Besides, it also deals with block downsampling and data retention as well. So from the implementation perspective, the compactor is just a cron job. For example, it runs every five minutes and each run is called an iteration. So each iteration, the compactor will perform the three tasks here in order, which means if there are too much compaction work to finish, then it can't start uh, downsampling and retention. So usually the backlog uh, happens in phase one, which is the compaction phase. So why does this happen? And maybe we can think about this and imagine it uh, as a message queue scenario. So here, and the tunnels compactor is a message queue consumer, and the producers are some sidecars, rulers, and receivers who upload blocks to the object storage. In this case, object storage is a message queue. So if we uh, scale more on the producer side, and we don't scale on the consumer side, then much more data will be uploaded to the object storage and the compactor cannot keep up with the load and then it falls behind and finally backlog happens. So the key thing here actually is to identify the backlog issue and there are several ways to go. So first, the compactor itself exposes some very useful metrics so these two metrics actually uh, tell us the current iterations and the uh, uh, downsamplings performed. So if these two counters uh, remain the same value or they uh, increase slowly, then backlog might happen. And if you don't see any retention happens for very old blocks, then the compactor might be busy compacting your blocks and they cannot start doing the compaction. And the last point might not be that obvious, but if you have uh, your compactor has the backlog issue, then some long-term range queries performance might be degraded. So another way to identify the backlog issue is to use the progress metrics. So since Sanos v0.24 release, four new metrics are introduced and uh, there are very good signals to tell whether your compact, compactor hit backlog or not. And they can represent the compaction progress. Please do give them a try and they are very useful in your alerts as well. So next, let's talk about the solutions for the backlog. So in order to uh, solve the backlog problem, we definitely want to scale the compactors more. And the easiest way to go is to simply scale vertically so we can add more computation resources to the compactor uh, instances. And another way to do is to just increase the compaction concurrency. So there are two flags provided by the tunnels compactor. One is the compaction concurrency and another one is the downsampling concurrency. So we can tune these uh, flags and make the compactor instance uh, more powerful. And another way to go is to scale horizontally and about uh, horizontal scaling. And there are actually two ways to go. One way is to just shard by time. So for example, we can have uh, two compactors and one compactor take care of blocks produced uh, last week, and another compactor take care uh, of blocks uh, produced maybe last month. And uh, in this way, we can distribute blocks to different compactors by time. And another way to go is to shard the blocks by their external labels so that we can group blocks from the same clusters together to the same compactor. And in this way, we achieve the same goal and we successfully 
distribute logs to different compactor instances. So I think that's all about uh, today's session and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.